Pisces, welcome to your heart spread read. This is for the end of September time frame here. Be the last read for this week. Last but not least, I'm using the Ethereal Visions uh, Illuminated Tarot deck to give a darn. Okay, always I should point out I do the uh, Pisces and Aquarius energy on Saturdays. Hopefully, uh, when the next month starts, we'll add a, I'll be adding a singles a dedicated read like I have before. Full singles read, and uh, it'll go out for each sign and um, uh, each week, and uh, Aquarius Pisces will be Saturday then. Also, if you haven't, checked out the Soul Family read, would you? It's just a collective read, wherever resonates, and see if maybe you think you're part of the Soul Family. I'd love that. And please feel free to comment. Comments help a lot. Um, I don't want to take that one looking at it. Death card. Um, likes help a lot. And I just want to reach more people, man. You know, it's out there. If somebody it's free. If somebody has time they want to look at it, you know, uh, do hit me up. You want personal readings? I'm on fire lately. Thank you, Spirit. You're awesome. Here we are, and going into October soon. Mercury retrograde. There's an article up on Facebook I just did today. Put a lot of time in it on the Mercury retrograde. If you on my Facebook page, check it out. And uh, if not, then join my Facebook page. It's on my YouTube links there in the description. All right. All right. I usually do write these up in the description too with a pretty good uh, synopsis. Um, too for people who maybe just want to read <laughs> uh, or read it and see if it re resonates enough to watch because I get it you know I don't have time to be watching tarot I'm sorry these cards are so hard for me my hands are just crap like long story physically <laughs> but I'm gonna get there with these make sure they're shoveled well um, let's see we'll look at you and your person get a read on how you're doing get advice from spirit get an outcome that's who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Heart spread. It's going to form the shape of the heart. Okay. I'm going to take that overall energy as the Three of Pentacles. Kind of keep that in mind now with this. Okay. Wow. Glad we waited. The Sun card. Here you go, Pisces. Um, you don't get much better than that. Um, this is where you're at, where your mind and heart is at, and around relationships here at this end of September time frame. I kind of look at that a little bit separate from how you're feeling about your person exactly. So I want to kind of get an idea, a baseline of where you're at and yourself. And now this is your person coming in with the Queen of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius personality, very most likely. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, keep that in mind. Um, you look at this Queen too, she's looking down. It's kind of a sweet looking uh, Queen of Swords. She doesn't look like the, it, I kind of get the uh, high vibing Queen of Swords energy here. So what's that? You know, assertive, strong, self-contained, self-aware. Excuse me, very intelligent, uh, mature person, capable person. Someone that commands perhaps in management position, uh, entrepreneurial person. Someone that could be in a position of authority and I should say uh, this is you um, in your first house And this is your anima animus projected into your seventh house. There's another way to look at this So whether it's a new relationship or old um, either way And you'd be in a very good position to be in a relationship and this Queen of Swords would most likely be representing their Sun sign and air sign so they're being in a very good position. You, for your information, uh, Pisces, this is someone who's sincere and honest and uh, forthright, I'm trying to think of the right word, uh, not unassuming, um, but authentic. That's what I mean, authentic. Okay, they're, whatever they're showing you, whatever they're giving you, it's like the real deal. And I think this is, you know this, it's like you're mature people. No, there's no pretense, no pretense. That's what I'm looking for too, with your person here. Um, so love it for a start, you're very well matched. Now that does five of wands. Now this is you, how you're reacting to this person. This is what this position shows. And it's hard to not read that as some kind of conflict. If you look, they're practicing though, 
it's always pointed out. These are your little pages, pre-pages or something, uh, practicing to be killers <laughs> later in life. Uh, kind of really what it is, right? Uh, but um, I got a feeling about this. It's intuitive. Um, wow, you are, it's like, what do you call that? Like you're sparring with them to try to get a handle on them. Uh, this Queen of Swords energy can be very sharp, uh, witty. Uh, it could put get you on your toes, and I get the feeling that you're being you're having you're not really having a problem with it, uh, but it is causing you to uh, engage in a way, uh, like probing a way with this Five of Wands. You know, um, like um, you might like deliberately provoke them a little bit. Like if they say something you, where you normally would be like, let it go, you might like dig them a little bit. And it could be like in a teasing way, but you're watching like very uh, careful, Pisces, very Pisces. You're really feeling that empathic way, uh, how they respond. You know, it's like you're poking the bear, poking the bear, because you want to understand what's the true nature of the bear, you know? But I'm going to tell you one thing, though. I don't understand it because maybe you don't know this yet. The true nature is what they're showing you. They're nothing else. It's authentic, you know, unassuming behavior, that kind of thing. And they're coming up as the king of uh, wands. as how they're reacting to you. Um, also, now that I see they're reacting to you as the king of wands, um, they're probably coming on too strong. You've got the queen of swords and the king of wands. So when they get around you, it's because you're coming in as the sun. I'm not saying it's your fault. If you look at synastry, it's going to be sun on Venus, sun trying Venus, sun on Mars, sun trying Mars. Some kind of energy uh, like this coming in real hot and heavy. I could even end up being like Uranus on Mars, Uranus on Venus energy. Um, probably love at first sight energy, very intense, uh, passionate, uh, sexual energy. Uh, magnetic energy where you're drawn to each other probably in a very physical way um, this is uh, you're coming in with sun energy that can carry with it fifth house energy I mean you're ready to have fun you're giving that to them and but as they're coming in it's a little too much and you're doing that thing where it's almost like some kind of, I'm gonna call it sexual jujitsu it, a little bit of the kind of groping on the couch but it's, I'm not saying you're doing that it's like a metaphor more like emotionally or mentally you're doing that with them feeling them out you know um but make no mistake about it like you turn them on you you they are this means they are very very hot for you cross watcher tell me i'm wrong i think cross watcher could be out there on this one okay the empress this is your advice from spirit wow I feel pretty settled with this um, because this advice is for how to deal with them, your person, and it's kind of just be yourself, be the empress, uh, but think about that Venus energy, but strong uh, and open and uh, substantial, um, uh, abundant kind of energy. Um, that's it's. It, the Empress is not going to be afraid of the King of Wands, let's put it that way, okay? The Empress can handle the King of Wands, not a big deal. It's what she does, her job, handle King of Wands. Six of Cups, now this is the advice for your person in this relationship towards you. Um, and I believe this is for them to drop some emotion into this relationship. And that's probably going to come out as somehow being vulnerable. Because there's one thing that the King of Wands shares very much with the Queen of Swords. They're not vulnerable people. And I think they need to be a little vulnerable here with you and emotionally open. Also, it's two messages. Cross Watcher, please do share if you want Pisces with your person. I'd love that. But um, this is Spirit saying to you that there's a soulmate connection here. And to just keep that in mind. It's a... This is Spirit giving you a blessing by telling you that you have a soulmate connection. And it's trying to help you think about this relationship, put it into the right context. This uh, Pisces person here is not just anybody. It's not just another person, another date, whatever. Um, this is a soulmate here going on. 
And with the Empress card for you, Pisces, um, compared to the Six of Cups, is a wonderful energy uh, together. I love it. Um, um, you could even be, there could be well a feeling here, Pisces, of having shared, you know, a, a past life or something like that, you know. And just that soulmate connection, I think it's pretty quick. And it's also a third thing I want to say for your cross watcher. Don't be afraid of these emotions, okay? I think you, you'd have like an air sign here or something, not to, not to start a war with air signs about emotions, but it's okay. It's like, because uh, it might could feel kind of heavy for them too, and they maybe are blocking it, and Spirit's saying, drop, drop in, that was my, what I got, drop into these emotions. Don't be afraid to drop into those emotions, guys. And look at this, this is the advice for relationship as a whole. It's not about a choice. It's not about making a choice. It may be about Gemini. Look at the uh, composite relationship chart. See where Gemini is. He was not in your ascendant, okay? Arm, descendant. Um, <clears throat> but what this is saying is relationship. This, you have a relationship here. It's kind of like, I think you know it with this Empress here. Um, and even with the Five of Wands, it's just, you know, you're, you know you have to keep your boundaries up. And even though it's a soulmate, relationship you know always te teaching people how to treat us and you maybe just realize when relationship starts I'm gonna whip out the five of wands and teach them how to treat me because I want to be treated like this way not that way and nothing wrong with that you're I think right to do that and wise to do that but spirit here is telling you have this amazing lovers relationship so you know the lovers relationship it's really Romantic, it's male female whether you're male female doesn't matter it's just that romantic energy you know look at this just look at him an intuitive reader all you just look at the car how does that make you feel does it make you feel bad does it make you feel um, uptight and I gotta make a choice no it's like yummy as hell right there I just yummy all yummy and that's at the base of your heart spread now let's see the outcome here king of swords Wow, I like this. A lot of kings here, but the sun and the empress can meet these kings. <laughs> you got a queen of swords, a king of wands, and this is the outcome for both of you, king of swords. So I think you end up being a couple here um, who is soft with each other when you're together, softer with each other than you project. Might well be a Gemini uh, ascendant, and uh, more likely this would be something stronger um, than that Aquarius ascendant, you know, um, at least. And you're going to be the kind of couple with yourselves, you know, you're in this lover's energy. But I think, like, you're probably not going to public displays of affection, maybe not be your thing. Um, if people, if you're going to have a life together, emotionally, sexually, romantically, um, mentally, that's your own and kind of private and, and kind of soft like like if you acted the way you do in private like out when you're out in public with your friends they would probably be shocked like if you did accidentally someone slipped you mushrooms at a big dinner and you two just started acting like you do at home when you're alone in front of everyone for the first time they'd probably be like holy shit you know and I'm not saying there's like sexual really it's just that maybe a little bit of the, you know, uh, uh, Gomez and Natasha in, in energy, you know, <laughs> from the Adams family um, kind of stuff. Because I think as a couple, you present yourselves being very smart and very competent and um, mature, uh, responsible, capable, um, and you probably are. Um, but I just think like there'll be this side uh, down here below with the lovers between the Empress and the Six of Cups. And I do think ultimately Pisces, uh, you will be the more nurturing one in this relationship, which I think weirdly is why the Five of Wands came up and you knew, you know, because it was gonna be upon you to probably, you know, no relationships 50-50, to be a little more of the more nurturing one. That's why your person's being advised to let drop into these emotions um, it's like you realize you got out ahead of it. You're, you're very high functioning, mature people we're dealing with here, I think. And um, yeah, you set it up right. Um, so let me know what you think of this. I really would appreciate it. Likes help the channel a lot. So the algorithm, there's some interest. Do comment. I like it a lot. Appreciate it.
Thank you, guys.